when. The next step is finding out when. Now that when is a little bit of everything. I wanna know when they sent me this, when they're expecting to get the brief or the bid back, and when they're expecting to do the shoot if they have any projected dates already established. So, so I'm looking at this and I see that they have a pre-pro being pre-production day on January 27th, a prep day being January 28th, and then a still shoot date being 29th and the 30th. So they're already clear about this being two separate dates. And that means that the peanut butter, for example, will have their shoot maybe on the 29th, and then jelly would have the shoot on the 30th. The pre-production meeting on the 27th is really just a conversation between all the creatives and creative communication. So my team being, be it the hairstylist or the makeup artist or the wardrobe stylist or my uh, producer that might be on set, having a full conversation with the creative communications agency to make sure they were all on the same page. On January 28th, we'll have a prep day, meaning if we need to make sure that the wardrobe fits the models correctly and that the client approves, or if we need to do some type of prep work on the hair of the models to make sure that it's an easier or smoother day on shoot day, then we'll do that on the prep day. And then we actually have the shoot date on the 29th and the 30th. Now the where is extremely important because we want to make sure that we know where they anticipate doing this shoot at. So for me, I know that I have a studio based in Atlanta. They could very well want that shoot to take place in a whole different location. So what I'm looking for in this is where they anticipate doing this photo shoot. So if you look, it says shoot location and it says photographer's home base. Perfect. The why might be a little bit more ambiguous, but I can get from context clues that this why is so that they can showcase peanut butter and jelly's cosmetics. So there's my why. So we say the who is sandwich beauty and creative communications. The what they want to do a photo shoot. The when that's going to be on the 27th for pre, 20, 28th for prep, then 29th and 30th for shoot days. The where they want to do it at my home base. So it says photographer's home base. And then the why is because they want to promote their products. Lastly is the how much. So they give you a ballpark budget. The ballpark budget says 75,000 per shoot and 150,000 combined. So immediately, as soon as you see those numbers, they might sound a bit jarring to you if you come from a traditional portrait or wedding or travel uh, style photography business where perhaps your rates might be slightly lower or maybe you have less players involved in the productions so that would not justify the rates being as high as seventy five or one hundred and fifty thousand dollars but once we get into the actual building of the bid you'll start to understand why that number actually gets flattened out by so many different expenses that are attributed to the shoot.